Hey YouTube, thanks for uh, watching another video. This one's going to be about my frequently asked questions about me personally, uh, but mostly about my locks. So let's get started. Um, okay, so the first question is, where are you from? People want to know where I, where I'm from for some reason. So um, originally I'm from Louisiana. My folks are from Louisiana, like my mom and um, her side of the family. My dad is, they're from New Orleans. My dad is from a, a southern part of Louisiana, um, Monroe or even like Mangum. If you guys know where that's at, it's the country. But um, I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, yeah, so my mom likes to refer to it as Cajun Peaches, and yeah, it works for me. I've been in Atlanta since I was five, I think, years, five years old, so it's all I know. Um, but New Orleans is like a second home to me, um, Louisiana is like a second home to me, and I'm a Saints fan, so don't get it twisted, baby. <laughs> okay, so second question is um how long have i had my locks okay so for some reason recently i've been like forgetting if it's been five or six years but it's been five years it'd be six years in this coming february or um march because i can't remember if i i think i start like towards the end of february um and so five years going on six and I'm loving every minute of it and they're getting so long I just I can't even show them all in the the camera shot so I'm, I'm really loving this link um even though it's really hot um how did I start my locks I started my locks with the comb quote method don't know about it youtube it or google it um my cousin helped me start it but she did start it for me I used to tell people that I um helped my cousin do like half my head and that was a lie so sorry cousin and um, <laughs> she did just the whole thing for me okay so uh how many locks do you have i think okay so i did this before as well in another video i think it's 110 i should have counted before i did this video but meh. i think it's 110 um yeah so an even number I'll, I'll recount that to make sure though and at the end of this video um, what did I use to twist my hair or what I used to twist my hair um I used to use only the Talia Waji lock, lock twist gel like she has two different kinds but I would only use that when I first started and then I started using the organics naturals the, it's like the purple top with the white whitish like gel in it um to do my hair and i used those for a long time now i don't use any of that unless i'm styling my hair i don't use any kind of gel i don't really put anything in my hair other than y'all know what i'm about to pull out talia waji um the medicated formula and the regular formula i use both of them um and i also use shea butter olive oil coconut oil um tea tree oil peppermint oil lavender oils that kind of stuff um, and water and occasionally lotion to twist my hair to just to retain moisture um but that's because they're mature now and i don't really have to like use so much product as i feel like i did when i was first starting out um next question what kind of shampoo should i use what kind of shampoo did you use or you know i when I first started my locks, like the first year, I remember all I used was the doctors, the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps, the, the Pure Castile um, soaps, and I would use the tea tree oil and the peppermint oil ones. Uh, of course, I mean, I still use them now, but not nearly as much. Um, I would, like, really kind of overdo it, I think, with them sometimes, but it didn't seem to do anything to my hair. Um... You have to really moisturize after that and then i would also use vo5 but the thing about vo5 is that it has the sodium lower the sulfates and i try to stay away from that because it is drying and um it's just not that great for for your hair texture um especially if you're a person of color um black people african-american people and people um more along the curly kinky coily type of hair um, patterns don't need to use sodium lauryl sulfates or uh, cetyl lauryl sulfates 
just look on the back you'll see what I'm talking about it's really drying for, for your hair it cause a lot of breaking um, so yeah the Dr. Bronner's magic soap um, uh, shampoos and soaps really good to use like invest in some and that's about it um, good conditioners I don't use conditioners that much anymore I used to I don't know why I feel like when you have locks, you don't actually need a conditioner as much as you need um, like a moisturizer and I think conditioning and moisturizing is like kind of two different things um, especially if you first starting out I wouldn't worry about conditioning my hair so much um, work on washing it and um, cleaning it and then replenishing your scalp with a natural oil I recommend coconut oil let me tell y'all a little secret my hair grew extremely fast I think it's because of the the um, not the coconut oil the olive oil I would stand in the shower when I first had my lock and I would go through bottles and bottles of um, EVO or extra virgin olive oil I would stand on the towel um, in the shower please stand on the towel because you'll fall yeah because of the I feel so <laughs> and um, I would just pour it like catfuls on my hair and like just massage it into my hair and into my face and my scalp and my body and I did that for like a good year straight and even now I still use olive oil all over all in my hair and I think that it attributes to um, the length and the healthiness of my hair um, please get you some olive oil if you if you can like now right now um last question Where's the question at? Uh, oh, my locks are fuzzy. Were your locks fuzzy and uneven? Will they become smoother and less fuzzy? Um, okay, so when you're first starting out, like with beginner locks, um, yeah, they're going to be fuzzy. It's part of the process. A lot of that is budding. It's called budding where they just kind of like they swell. It's just it's, the, it's starting to lock. That's a good sign. If it's fuzzy, don't worry about it so much because you can get rid of the fuzzies after your hair is fully matured. Um, and you can kind of just snip the fuzzies right off after your hair is mature all the way. That's what I did. I can kind of show you give show you guys you know exactly how I did that in another video if you really want to see. Um, you know, let me down below. So that's it. Um, oh last thing a lot of people want to know well I had more than enough people mostly they were guys <laughs> wanted to know how old I was um, just know that I'm under 30 and I'm older than 21 so that kind of gives you a good uh, <laughs> idea of how old I am and yeah I'm old enough to know that I don't want to tell my age how about that <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching and uh, another video coming soon and uh, yeah rate comment you know all that good stuff blah 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 blah